Hello everyone, uh, my name is Aiden and I'm one of the exercise physiologists here at Pride Plus Health. Uh, today, as part of Exercise Right Week, just bringing you a short video on why exercise is important to me and how I go about um, achieving my weekly exercise. So the main forms of exercise that I get a week are through footy training and walking with my partner. So exercising in a group um, or with somebody else is my go. That's what I really enjoy. I love the social aspect and I find that I'm way more accountable to other people than I am myself. I find it really, really hard to stay accountable to myself. So one of my strategies is engaging in team sport, um, being accountable to my partner, walking with her. Um, that's, that's what really helps me um, stay motivated and, and keep getting my exercise minutes that I need. Um, in terms of why that I do it, well, it just makes me feel really good. So while I'm exercising and immediately after I feel physically great, uh, I really notice that when I go for weeks without doing the regular exercise that I usually would, I actually feel quite physically tired and fatigued, um, but also emotionally and mentally I feel quite low and a bit scattered. Like I feel like it gives my week real structure. Um, and I, I really notice when I'm without it. So I think that I'm a much better uh, person and professional when I am exercising. Um, so that's why I do it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much a quick little overview of me uh, for Exercise Right Week. Look out for some of the other videos from some of our other team members at Pride Plus. Um, also, some of our clients are gonna be putting up some of their own videos too. So look out for those. All right, see ya. Last year I returned to exercise after about four years off. It was difficult at first because I wasn't sure I was going to stick to it and I just wanted to be back at the level I was before I stopped. I'm so glad that I can stuck with it. Exercise helps provide some calmness to my life, not just after a stressful day, but also in the long run as it gives me a clearer mind and more energy. Completing exercise consistently has resulted in me no longer feeling tired after a busy day and I feel like I've accomplished something at the end of the day if I've done my workout. It's now been a year since I returned to exercise and I'm so happy that I made that decision to put my health and fitness as my number one priority. Hi, I'd like to tell you a little bit about my journey to better health. Um, all of my life I've been overweight and as I got older, my doctor and I both agreed that my problems were starting to get out of control. My blood pressure was extremely high, my sugar levels were extremely high, my energy levels were very low. Um, I had various aches and pains in joints and back. Getting up out of a chair was difficult um, and she suggested that perhaps I would benefit from seeing an exercise physiologist. So that's where my relationship with Mike began. I wasn't overly keen at the time, but I thought I had nothing to lose, so would give it a go. Um, and it turned out to be one of the better health decisions I've ever made. Under Mike's guidance, I learned to exercise carefully and gently, um, actually grew to love it and make it part of my life. I now leave the car at home rather than drive everywhere if I can possibly walk. Um, as a consequence, my confidence has improved. My weight levels have dropped really, really well. My blood pressure has decreased as have my sugar levels and my energy levels have increased and I'm really happy with the way I am going into old age um, as a person who can still have confidence in their own ability to do things um, and look forward to not only doing things but doing them with increased energy and enjoyment. If this program is ever offered to you I'd highly recommend that you accept it or if you're interested go into looking into it. It will only bring you better health. So I want to share a little story about my father um, and his journey uh, with exercise in the past 12 months. So my dad is a elderly man who um, had become deconditioned and through various um, surgeries had ended up in hospital multiple times over a number of 
months. Um, and what I noticed was that his mood, his voice, his movement uh, was generally a little bit less than what we thought was optimal for him. Um, and he lives with my mum and mum and dad are still happily married after nearly 60 years. However, it was becoming a real burden on mum and she was expressing that to dad often and to us. So in my role as an EP, I decided to do something about this to facilitate uh, dad's journey back to exercise and back to full function. So dad was discharged from the Epworth Hospital and he, uh, the great thing about dad's visit to hospital was that he had uh, two weeks of intensive physiotherapy um, and rehab in hospital. So they were able to facilitate a discharge and essentially what happened was that um, I got dad booked in with an EP, an exercise physiologist in Terrelgan. Um, 12 months later, dad has completed over 40 visits to the exercise physiologist. His balance has improved, his strength has improved. He's much more um, lively with his conversations we have on the phone, uh, his energy levels, everything has improved. And what that's done for, for me and for other people in my family is just, even though I work with people like this every day, it's just very real to see my father's journey from pre engaging in regular exercise physiology to um, now doing it regularly and it's just had such a great impact on his life and um, and on our lives um, the lives of his loved ones so yeah it's a real example of why exercise particular exercise physiology is so valuable for people who are deconditioned um, who are elderly and who really need to keep functioning experiences with exercise. Um, about 15 years ago I had quite serious back trouble, I uh, was in a lot of pain, had sciatica in the legs, um, mostly from sitting in a chair, doing office work day after day and I decided that uh, I should do some rehab for that. So I was given a program, um, regular exercise a few days a week and that helped enormously. Um, I was able to remediate that back trouble and uh, but more importantly I found that I just felt a lot better because of doing the exercise. Just general health and um, well-being was improved. I find that when I don't exercise now uh, my stress levels go way up and my energy levels tend to go way down. I don't sleep as well. Um, I just generally don't feel great at all when I'm not getting that regular exercise. Conversely, when I am exercising, I feel much more positive about things, um, sleep a lot better. I power through the day, manage to get the things done that I need to get done. Just generally feel much better. Um, so I would recommend to anyone no matter what their level of conditioning is to start getting some regular exercise um, and uh, if possible get a professional to supervise and give you a tailored program so that you know you're exercising safely and, and uh, the program meets your needs and it helps enormously with motivation as well. So yeah that's my perspective on exercise. Hey, the reason why exercise is so important for me, running gives me energy and clarity. If I'm not able to get out for a run a couple of times during the week, I find that my mental health suffers and it can be really difficult on those around me. I'm not as nice a person as I'd like to be. So when the pandemic hit and I started running more to try and help my mental health out, it's no surprise, I got a little bit of an injury. That's when I was able to turn to my friends, the exercise physiologists, to help me with a rehab program and keep me running. Better get up this hill. Exercise has helped me with my CFS and POTS because it's a way for me to keep conditioning my body and strengthen myself, as well as also weakening any symptoms. 
Hi, today I'm going to talk about why I exercise. So my relationship with exercise goes a long way back to when I was in high school. Back then, uh, I exercised mainly because I wanted to be really fit. But uh, it's been close to two decades now and I think that uh, exercising and going to the gym has more, become more like a routine to leave me. I hardly think about it anymore. So if you ask me, why do I exercise right now? So uh, Look, I work long hours, I finish work at 8pm and I still go to the gym. So what I found is that uh, whether I have a good or bad day at work, exercise is a great way for me to escape, for me to focus on my inner self and help take my mind off work and other affairs which I have. I often find myself to be thinking clearer after that. And also there's also a social aspect of exercising. You see familiar faces at the gym, I think beats having a good laugh at the end of the day. And uh, of course, uh, you get a sense of camaraderie with your mates uh, pushing yourself uh, uh, on. All right. So if you really know the health benefit of exercise, I do not need to elaborate more on that. So um, keep exercising.